you how we're doing. I'm just gonna teach you guys how to make some homemade dog food because my dogs are picky eaters and I also want them to be healthier. And I looked up some recipes and I decided that it's easier and actually cheaper than buying dry food, I believe. Uh, for about 10 bucks, you get enough servings to feed four 20 pound dogs for a full week. So it's quick and easy. The first thing you gotta get is an Instapot and you can start, you just turn it on a uh, meat stew and it'll start uh, heating up. And the first thing you wanna do is just uh, put your three cans of diced tomatoes in there so it can start warming up. It'll save some time. And also this is a uh, lots of vegetables and uh, lean protein. It doesn't take a lot of uh, prep work. So then you can put in either three uh, smaller sweet potatoes or two large sweet potatoes. And I just cut them into slices like this. And then once they're cooked, I cut through them and make them into smaller pieces for the dogs. Some people say you should peel the sweet potatoes, but since it's such a minor quantity, I don't think it's really necessary. And since I've been feeding on this diet for about a month, uh, the most significant changes I've seen are two of my dogs were uh, vomiting often, and they haven't vomited ever since I started feeding on this uh, diet. So, it's been a big benefit so far. And they also eat their food uh, more quickly than they used to. So they really like it. And I mix this with dry food, so it's not all uh, whole food, just to kind of make it last longer and to give them a good balance. So then after the sweet potatoes, I put in three carrots. Again, I don't really peel them or anything. whole bag of frozen peas. I've done broccoli before as well. I think peas are a little bit sweeter so I like them more and I think uh, broccoli is only good for dogs in small quantities. Then I do a cup of brown rice. Actually, for a pot this big, I'll do a cup and a half. Give them more high quality carbs. Then for the protein, I just get a big bag of frozen chicken, and I put in three big chicken breasts. So it's approximately three pounds or so. It doesn't have to be exact, but about that size. I get these from Costco. Put those on top. Then I'm going to put a cup of extra virgin olive oil in for good fats to help their coats and their skin. Then once you do that, you just fill the rest of the pot up with water. You put the lid on and seal it, and just let it cook until it's a uh, until it's ready to be taken out. And then you can release the steam and uh, serve it up to the dogs. 
The puppies are all excited for their new batch of food. <laughs> you like this food, puppies? They've been eating it like crazy. So the Instapot finished. Uh, ran for about 20 minutes, and then I released the steam. Just take the top off. Then I take my long knife and I cut up the potatoes and chicken as much as I can from here. Then you'll probably have to cut it up a little bit more. Whenever you serve them, if there's any big chunks, you want to make sure all the dogs get a fair chance to get the big pieces and get the chicken. So I just chop it up, stir it up, and uh, you can transfer it to a bowl. Or what I did last time was I just put a aluminum foil over this whole Instapot and just put the whole Instapot in the fridge once it cools a little bit. So, yep, that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, not that hard. And it's healthier for your dogs. So, try it out and your dogs will be happy. And here's the finished product after I cut it all up and makes a full pot and I typically serve it have four small cockapoos well they're between 10 pounds and 20 pounds and they uh, I give them one cup of dry food and one cup of the wet food and they usually eat it right away so enjoy and I hope your dogs like it too and I eat the soup too so uh, yeah, it's healthy for everyone. They're enjoying their new batch. You see me? <laughs> and also, I get Blackwood dry food. It's about $45 for a 30-pound bag, and it supposedly has the least amount of harmful ingredients for dogs. So, that's what I recommend. Uh, I'm still feeding even the adult dogs the puppy food. These are two of their puppies from their litter that we're keeping. She had seven on her first litter. So, yeah, that was a fun time. Uh, enjoy.